Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vim PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be going a little bit further into my rye journey. Now, at the beginning of this year, I made a bit of a promise that I was going to start exploring more rye whiskies. I haven't really tried many rye whiskies before this year, and I've started covering, you know, a couple more. So if you're interested in that journey, then check out the, uh, the link up here, and that will kind of go through all of the ones I've tried so far, and I'll obviously be adding to that. So if you're catching this in the future, this will be part of that playlist anyway. Now, today, We've got the Knob Creek Rye. This is a uh, 100 proof, the 50 percenter, and it was given to me by a good friend called Gus, who is part of the British Bourbon Society, British Bourbon Society here in the glass, and uh, they've got an excellent Facebook page, so if you're in the UK and you're interested in bourbons and American whiskey in general, go and check them out on Facebook, really good community there. So what do we know about Knob Creek? So I have covered the standard Knob Creek on my channel already, so there'll be another link up there. That won't be in the Rye, Rye playlist, so you can go and check that one out separately. It's a Beam Suntory Endeavour, let's say, and it's distilled at the Jim Beam Distillery in Kentucky. Now, this was first released from the distillery in uh, 2012. In the UK, we've only really just seen that coming across fairly recently in the last couple of years. It's the first of their range that didn't carry an age statement originally. So if you uh, hark back to the Knob Creek review, the one that I've covered, it used to have a nine year age statement on it, and that's been changed to small batch patiently aged. Well, this one only ever had patiently aged on it. We don't know the exact age statement on this. Uh, interestingly as well, we also don't know the exact mash bill. To be a rye whiskey as this is, it has to be at least 51% rye, the rest can be made up of what, basically whatever they like, probably corn with a little bit of malted barley. Now, I did read online that it's probably around about that 51% and not much higher, which is probably good for me because if you've been following my progress there, I'm not a huge, huge fan of rye. I, I, although I, I like generally what I'm tasting, it's not something that I sort of get really excited about. It's not something that I tend to reach for. So I'm looking for that kind of rye that's my entry point that will start getting me to understand it and these high rye bourbons, they're okay, uh, and the kind of really, you know, like getting on for 100% rye, they're, I'm really struggling with those at the moment. So this might be the one that I'll, uh, I'll, I'll enjoy, but we'll see. Let's get into the nose and see what we figure out. So this is a bit of a weird nose for me. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's nice, it's interesting. It's not as spicy and as hot as I am used to with some of the ryes, which for me can only be a good thing. I'm probably being led by obviously the title of it, but for me, I'm getting much more kind of a rye bread kind of vibe off it. I don't usually get that off like the kind of really high percentage rye. Funny enough, I'm getting some apples as well, which is weird. And there's obviously like vanilla and oak and things like that, you know. Let's try on the palette. So, so I'm getting quite a lot of peppery spice. It's kind of like powdered white pepper, that kind of spiciness. Lots of vanilla. On the back end, it's a real kind of light touch of cherries. Not a lot, just a really like a little tiny, tiny touch of it. Spades of oak, spades of oak. But actually, generally, I'm finding that quite pleasant. It's not as fiery and in your face as some of the other ryes that I've tried. It's not as hot. It's, yeah, in, in your face is a really good way of describing it, I think, for me. It's very much, uh, rye is very shouty and very, it really wants you to know it's there. Whereas uh, I'm often in the mood for something a little bit more understated, a little bit more, a little bit more characterful. And this, I wouldn't say this is characterful necessarily, but it's definitely not in your face. It's definitely understated. In terms of finish, it's kind of a medium spice. It's kind of like a medium length finish. Quite spicy, but not like, again, not, not hot, not in your face. I would say for me, this is a pretty good value dram. So it's a 50 percenter. It's about 40 pounds in the UK, depending on where you are. And that's starting to push it onto the expensive side for me, especially when we're thinking you know, it's probably less than nine years, whatever, you know, if you're interested in the age statements, things like that. But for my entry point into rye, just based on flavour alone, 
I've enjoyed that more than most of the other rice that I've tried. Not a big fan of those in your, in your face bowl flavours, not yet at least anyway, I really am trying. And this might be one of those whiskies that really gets me there. So although this is only a sample size that I've reviewed today, I, uh, I think this would lead me neatly onto buying a bottle of it at some point and really sitting down with that and exploring that and moving on to some of the other rice after. I have got some other rice coming up. In fact, I think I've got maybe two, three more that are going to come out of the rest of this year. And I've got some really high percentage stuff, so I'm going to be interested to see how that comes out on my, on my flavour profiles now. But for me, I think if you've got the 40 quid, probably better off spent on the actual Knob Creek, to be honest. But that's just me and my kind of preference on rye. If, if rye is your thing over bourbon, I would say this is probably a good shout. But it's one of those subjective things. I imagine there's going to be a lot of people that aren't that interested in this one particularly. But for me, I'd say it's worth a try. And it's distilled at the Beam Suntory. And it's distilled at the Beam... Bloody hell, try again. So we don't know how much exactly that the ages are in here. Bloody hell, 